Welcome to Core Concepts from Dent Head Gaming. Let's see this build. Hey guys, what is up? I got another build for you today. This is Cloak and Dagger. So, uh, on the right arm, we are running the Itsujin, which is uh, a wonderful machine gun for building up impact on your opponent. It's also pretty decent at shredding them once they are impacted. Uh, it is nice and lightweight, very low E unload, and just it will absolutely burst fire your enemy into oblivion. I don't think this weapon needs really that much introduction because it is seen quite frequently, especially in the PvP uh, or especially in ranks, not not only rank but PvP, you see it all the time. Anyway, on the other arm, we are running the dagger part of cloak and dagger. We got the laser dagger, which is again very lightweight, pretty low EN load, and I love the fact that this is a triple hit for 752. That is crazy. Although you can charge attack if your window is slightly smaller, you don't have, quite have that. You can just charge attack it, and it, it charges really fast to uh, uh, 1688. You just get one foul swoop and just absolutely rock your opponent with that. Uh, on the back, we are running some BML G2 P17 SPL-16, which really just means split missile 16. It fires two of them, it splits off into eight, and then they just go off on tangents and start beating up on your opponent. Uh, I chose these mainly because their fire rate is not the worst I've ever seen, but they are really good at keeping your opponents on the toes. Plus, it's really nice when you shoot them past your opponent and then they turn around and come back after they split because you do a lot of backing up with Cloak and Dagger. You just do. If they're pushing you hard, you're going to be doing a lot of backing up to make sure most of the damage they inflict is going to be hitting that wonderful, wonderful shield, which is the cloak part of Cloak and Dagger. This shield is the VE61PSA, and that is basically the one where you can just leave it out and it mitigates a lot of things. Yeah, she's chonky. Yeah, she's thirsty, but... She's really the whole reason why I decided to build Cloak and Dagger in the first place. I wanted to pair this with uh, a dagger because I thought it would be funny to have a big overshield and a little tiny dagger. And then I was like, oh, Cloak and Dagger would be fun. So that's the basic, the basic battle strategy behind this is actually just to back up and shoot and build stagger. Once you've built stagger, you just hammer them really hard with that little laser dagger and you call it a day. On the frame, mine beta head, moving on. Core, we got the VP40S, uh, one of the most balanced cores in the game. I freaking love this thing. Uh, it is. Uh, it reminds me a lot of the Melander C3, which is also a very, very well balanced core, but it's got a little bit more stability, which is what you need when you're running the type of uh, shield that I'm running. You want your stability to be nice and high, which is why I chose it over the Melander C3 core. Uh, also, it's pretty freaking good at uh, helping out your generator at 111. That's nice. That was actually a buff. I think it used to be like 107 or something similar to that prior to the patch. Anyway, Basho Arms, because we really, really want that little dagger to do work. And we're using a spray weapon in the other arm, so accuracy isn't really paramount. So that gets it done with the Bashos. Not to mention the Bashos actually decent defenses for the weight. Yeah, not bad at all. I mean, energy defense sucks, but that's fine with me. Don't care. Me Lander C3 legs. Statistically speaking, my favorite legs in the game. I freaking love these things. Weight, EN, load, stability, defenses. It's got it all. I freaking love it. One thing I wish they would improve upon this, though, would be the energy defense. It is a little bit low compared to the other two. I'd like to see it like 345, maybe even 350, just to kind of bop it up there but that ap being almost 4k nothing to scoff at moving on to the inner parts grid walkers love the grid walkers for two reasons melee attack thrust third best in the game also the upward thrust I, oh my gosh i love being able to yo-yo my opponents and that is especially key to the combat style of cloak and dagger because you want to make sure that if they can jump you can jump too and you can just keep making them shoot your shield rather than shooting you in the face. Talbot FCS, because we are running missiles and we are close range and nothing gets it done better than the Talbot uh, for that kind of setup. VP20C, it is a nice little generator package and uh, that's all I'm saying about that because that's what I always say about that. 
pulse armor because, uh, yeah, uh, I, I either have to run away and or chase my opponents, and this is the best extension for doing that. All right, that is the build and the battle strategy. Let me go ahead and show you guys what this thing can do. Come here, Freud. Main system, activating combat mode. Main system, activating combat mode. Let's go. Freud, what are you shooting at right now? It's not me. I can tell it's not me. The one thing you got to remember, you might instinctually try to quick boost, but the moment you quick boost, your shield gives up on being a shield. So do not do that. Take the hit. It's a very, very odd thing to say, but take the freaking hit. Just make sure you're watching your stagger gauge and your opponent's stagger gauge, and you'll be just fine. Sheesh. Make sure if you do get staggered as well that you put away that shield because if you don't put away that shield, you're going to have a bad time. That right there is why I like those grid walkers. I got up and in his face instantaneously. All right, guys, that was Cloak and Dagger. Let me get you that share information. We have a share ID of K-A-P-A-R-Q-W-V-C-23-D. If you like him, take him. He's all yours. If you do modify him, I'd like to see his share ID of the one you built in my comments. That would be great. I had a lot of fun using this big giant robot to blow stuff up. Please like and subscribe. Thank you and goodbye.